high-powered flat earther rocket man's launch postponed. Mike Mad Mike uses having a tough time with his quest to prove the Earth is flat by flying his steam-powered rocket ship into space, where space is defined as 1,800 feet high, and bringing back pictures of it, and hopefully bringing his butt back alive too. Did someone tell him he could save himself a lot of trouble by just climbing a tree? Worse. Mike the do-it-yourself rocket engineer announced last week he was planning to launch his did-it-himself out of scrap metal rocket with a blast of compressed steam on November 25th from his launch pad in the Mojave Desert ghost town of Amboy, California, on the famous better suited for cars Route 66. That plan got cancelled by the party pooper known as the federal government. Specifically, the Bureau of Land Management heard about the launch and notified Mad Mike that he didn't have the proper paperwork, or any paper worth for that matter, to launch a rocket ship on public land. Being the true flat earther that he is, Mike told the Bureau that he didn't need any paper worth because he had something better, a verbal agreement given to him over a year ago permitting the launch. Of course, that verbal agreement was worth as much as a map of the flat earth when dealing with the federal government, so Mad Mike found some non-public, that is private, land about three miles away where he could fly without buy papers. He announced that the mission was rescheduled for Tuesday, November 28th. You know, it's not easy because it's not supposed to be easy. That's an understatement. After the announcement, the rocket broke down in his driveway. Hughes told the Washington Post that it took three days to fix it, level it and haul the rocket to the new location, where he hit another snag, the weather. Like NASA and Elon Musk, Mad Mike can't fly on windy days, so the launch is postponed for a few more days, possibly a week. Unlike NASA and Elon Musk, Mad Mike has to guard his own equipment. It is brutal here. I am sleeping in the rocket launcher every night, sick. It's too bad Mad Mike can't leave for a little while and take a trip to the California coast to watch ships sailing off towards the horizon slowing appear to sink as they follow the downward curve of the Earth. Then he could use his steam-powered spacecraft for something more fun, like jumping over a canyon or taking Elon Musk on a real rocket trip. For now, Mike Hughes sleeps in his rocket launcher in the desert, watching for that roadrunner who comes around to taunt him. Meep meep. <laughs>